In this video, we will be studying about the concept of depreciation. Now, what is depreciation? We all know that this is the normal wear and tear of fixed assets. As you keep on using your fixed assets, it will depreciate. If you are buying a scooty, it will not be as new as it was the time you bought after two or three years it will depreciate the there will be a loss in its value so this is the depreciation now the question is why depreciation occurs Number first reason is your expected obsolence which means that your fixed asset has become obsolete just because you have the idea that there will be a change in technology that your machinery will be outdated. Let's suppose a black and white TV which are outdated now because there are new technologies which have developed. Now from the LCD they have developed the new technology of TV that is LED. So there are changes in the technology. So it is an expected obsolescence, which means that if there is some change your machinery will become obsolete second is due to the loss of the value of fixed assets when these become obsolete outdating owing to change in demand now let's say uh, there are some uh, leather shoes now from leather shoes the demand of people have shifted to sneakers that are cotton shoes or the Cloth shoes, let's say not cotton, but yes, a uh, cloth shoes. So there is a change in demand. So machine was used to manufacture your leather uh, shoes, but now there is demand of a uh, cloth shoes in the market. So due to the change in demand, also your machinery becomes obsolete. The second one we have is unexpected obsolescence. that is due to your natural calamity then due to the fall in the market value of an asset if there is recession loss of market value of fixed asset owing to unexpected obsolescence is also known as you can also call it as capital loss. So this is the reasons why we have to calculate the depreciation. And now what is the use of depreciation in the national income? Let's understand. In order to calculate national income, so you require the value of investment. You do investment in two aspects. We have done the two components of investment that is the fixed investment and the inventory investment. So when you expenditure on the purchase of fixed assets during the accounting year, plus expenditure on the inventory stock during the accounting here makes your gross investment
which means your gross investments includes depreciation right but in order to calculate your national income we require net investments which means your net investments is equal to your gross investments minus depreciation so in this way we calculate by deducting the depreciation we calculate your net investments or if you have to calculate anything in gross you add the depreciation and you get the gross investment is your net investment plus depreciation you get your gross investment in that case so this is the concept of depreciation which is other uh, another important concept for calculating your national income I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.